Hi everyone, let's take a look at the Motion Tracker tool. To start, we'll drag a video clip to a timeline and highlight it. Now, click on the Tools button and choose the Motion Tracker tool. To set the Motion Tracker tool to full screen, click on the Maximize button here. Now, follow the three steps shown in the Options section. In Step 1, position the selection box to mark the object that you want to track. Now, in Step 2, click on the Track button. If you've positioned your selection box to mark the whole object and find that the tracking goes off the object, try positioning the selection box to focus in on a specific color or portion of that object. This may improve the tracking of your selected object. In Step 3, you can select a title, image, clip, or an effect that you want to apply to your tracked object. For this example, we use a red outline box image to frame the tracked object. Position the outline image to frame the object that you want to track. Now, you can click on the play button to view the outline image as it tracks the object. To make the outline image automatically adjust to the size changes of the tracked object, put a check mark in the Adjust Effects Size box. If you want to start over, you can right click and choose Remove Tracker. Then click on the Add a Tracker button. A new tracker timeline will open and you can start again. When your tracking selections are completed, click on OK to return to PowerDirector's main screen. As we can see, the tracking outline image has been applied to a PowerDirector timeline track. Now, let's look at the other Step 3 tracking options. You can choose to track your object with text, and modify the text properties. Add a border. Make aspect ratio changes. Set the smooth option. And choose to make automatic size tracking adjustments. The same procedure in step 3 applies to using a video clip to track an object in your main video. Locate and import a video clip. Set your starting position and size. Then make your tracking option choices. The third tracking option is to use the effects settings. Using the effects section gives you the option to apply a mosaic blur or a spotlight. Follow the same three steps and choose your options to use an effect to highlight or distort a moving object. If you want to track multiple objects in a clip, you can add more tracker timelines by simply clicking on the Add a Track button. Now follow the three steps to set and create your options for each additional tracker. Finally, we'll look at the Mark In and Mark Out option. Locate the first sequence and click on the Mark In button. Move down the timeline to the sequence's end and click on the Mark Out button. At the Mark In point, set your tracking selection box. Then click on the Track button and now you can choose your tracking option. Then, move forward and locate another sequence that you want to track. Click on the Add a Tracker button and again click on the Mark In button. Locate the End Point and click on the Mark Out button. At the Mark In Point, set your selection box 
and click on the track button. Then apply a tracking option for this second sequence. You can now continue to move forward through your video and add more trackers. Motion Tracking Another tool that opens up more possibilities for your PowerDirector productions.